If you have an advanced athlete, pretty strong, just getting them stronger isn't necessarily going to help them to jump higher. That's where my my favorites, I, I would classify these as special strength exercises. And I believe I have, man, an old blog post. If you go to my website, defrancostraining.com, click on blog, and and or you can even do a search on my website. I, I think I have pictures or videos of the my top three exercises because they still remain the same. I would say a depth jump into an underhand med ball throw for height. So stand on, say, a 12-inch box, step off that box, land with both feet. The second you land with both feet, throw the med ball up to the ceiling or up to the sky as high as you can. So you're holding the med ball kind of at waist height with an underhand grip. And then step off, absorb the the um, the ground the, wherever you're performing the exercise as soon as your feet touch the ground, you're going to bend your knees maybe into a quarter squat position and then explode up. I love those because they they accelerate the eccentric, the lowering, and overload the lowering, which helps you create more force and speed with the throw. So one of my favorite exercises for improving the vertical jump, definitely a little, a little bit more advanced, uh, what did we used to call these? Um, I think we call them uh, power bomb, power bomb kettlebell swings, which again is basically accelerating the eccentric portion of a kettlebell swing. So you need a partner for this one where you perform a kettlebell swing and at the top of the motion, you have a partner standing on the side of you that pushes the kettlebell down and you, you resist somewhat, but you let you kind of go with that additional speed and that accelerated eccentric, and then you reverse it and perform the concentric. Again, the the underlying theme here is faster lowering, which contributes to a faster, more explosive concentric, or you know, which will help with your jump. So we, we call those power bomb kettlebell swings. If you are alone, there is a way to set up a band and do band-resisted kettlebell swings, which give you the the same training effect. And uh, a third advanced exercise that I love, but again, definitely more advanced, is a dumbbell drop box jump. So picture I'm holding a 15-pound dumbbell in each hand, like I'm going to perform a box jump holding dumbbells. Instead, I perform a vertical jump in place. Jump as high as you can holding on to those 15-pound dumbbells. So you're getting a resisted vertical jump. As soon as I land, as soon as my feet touch the ground, I drop the dumbbells and then jump up onto the box without any dumbbells. So you basically, it's like a superset of resisted vertical jump, land, drop the dumbbells. Your brain doesn't know that you dropped the dumbbells, so it's recruiting more muscle and and it's it's firing like you are 30 pounds heavier but you don't have that 30 pounds so you feel that extra burst that extra pop because you're recruiting so much more little little you know trick of the nervous system uh dumbbell drop box jumps and i do have videos of these somewhere <laughs> 